Hello guys, Raptor Airsoft here, and today I will be doing a video on my gear for Airsoft. So, I'm going to start with the head and work my way down. Um, so, right off the bat, whenever I put my headgear on, I start with this ninja kind of cloth that I put over my my head first. This is solely just to protect my neck, because I've gotten shot once and it was painful, so I just bought this. It's just like a little kind of ninja little thing. I don't know what to call it. Uh, secondly, I got my face mesh. Um, it's pretty. It works pretty well. It covers my kind of my lower chin down to my throat area whole face and then my ears um i had when i got this i had to contour it to my face uh because my face is different from everybody else's so i spent a good 30 minutes fixing it up to where it fit my face perfectly um i'm sure everybody has to do it with every mask they get um Next, I have these standard airsoft whatever goggles. Um, they do the job. They're not anything fancy or anything, but they're pretty good. And then lastly, for my head, I have my helmet. I have a skull patch, my raptor patch, and my D14 patch. Now, on the front... I have my NVG mat, which is for my GoPro um, here. Now, um, this NVG mount is metal, and one of the things that I did run into when I put this on was that since most GoPro stuff is made out of plastic, it didn't grip, or the metal didn't grip onto the plastic as well as plastic on plastic wood. Um, I'm sure if you have an NVG mount that's metal, you probably run into this before. Um, a quick fix is when you put it in and you start screwing on the the screw. What you do is take a Phillips head screwdriver and you put it in the screw and you just tighten it as much as you can. And eventually it will stay still, but without that it will just rock around a lot. Um, a lot of people have been asking me what kind of GoPro or camera do I have. I have a GoPro Hero 3 Plus. Um, it's just um, the standard one. Um, I always bring an extra battery because I always need it. Um, every once in a while, I'll forget to turn off my GoPro, and it'll be running for the time that we're on break. So if I just forget that, I'll just put this one in and ask the people at the airsoft park that I go to to charge my other battery um, while I use this one. Um, I always bring extra SD cards. Uh, I can't tell you how many times where I've gone on the field and my GoPro shuts down because my SD card is full. So I'll just change it out real quick and it works pretty fine. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, on my body armor so first I have my gloves these aren't any airsoft gloves they're just gloves they're leather gloves I mean it doesn't totally stop the impact of the BB but it does some protection so they work so I have a Swiss arms Swiss arms tactical vest black um, by this time that the this video goes up, I will be ordering a ACU camouflage plate carrier, and I will be upgrading from this to that plate carrier. Um, but since I've been airsofting, I've been using this. Uh, it has two magazine pouches. Four, uh, it holds two each, so a total of four. Um, this is where I keep my extra battery in case I run out on the field. Um, the other side. Um, it has this really big pouch where I keep my 
two high caps in case I ever need those, a map, and an extra GoPro battery. My extra GoPro battery will fit into this little mag pistol mag pouch. Um, and my dead rag will go up here. Now, for my magazines, uh, from my pistol, um, I have three, which I'll show you in a little bit. Um, one I bought with a pistol, and another one I bought off eBay. And third, I was generously given a extra magazine by a guy that I met at D14. Shout out goes to him for giving me that extra mag. But unfortunately, his pistol broke down, so he had no use for the mag, so he gave it to me. Um, the pistol that I use goes in this holster. It's a leg holster, so it wraps around your leg. I'm sure you've seen one before. Um, in here, I keep a extra CO2 cartridge. It goes in there. Um, but yeah, this really comes in handy. Alright. So question what is this a lot of people think that this is a shotgun and it is definitely not it is a speed reloader believe it or not it is a elite force SL 14 speed reloader it holds 1400 BBs inside the chamber you pour it in through this little trap door and then you pump it it will you release this and it lets BBs in as you just saw and you pump it into the magazine, which will go right here. Um, I can reload about four mid caps in about maybe two or three minutes. It's insanely fast. I just got tired of a million finger jams into that little small speed reloader that I just got this. And it's worth it. You'll save time in the break. You get to do whatever you want after you reload your mags. It's great. Um, I encourage anybody that I see having trouble with the regular speed loaders to get one of these because it is definitely worth it. Alright, now on to my guns. Um, well, first of all, I have four mid caps. The three that I just pulled out are Elite Force. Now, I don't, these Elite Force mags are okay if you keep up with them and put oil in them regularly and you keep up with them they will last you a long time um, I have been keeping up with these so they have been good to me but I know people that don't really do anything to their mags and they get and they get like basically break down on them and then I have my Aries Amoeba mag um yeah so I also have two high caps one that came with the gun and one I bought off of eBay um, I get a lot of stuff from eBay especially airsoft stuff because it's just cheaper it's the same thing it's just cheaper um, I got this high cap for I think nine dollars it was a really good deal it was brand new in the box um, and this one came with the gun so and, it, and those come in handy with like really long matches. If I run out of my mid caps, I will use those high caps. I have two batteries. One that came with the gun, and then I bought another one. They're both 8.4, 600 milliamp. Um, at this, the time that this video goes up, I will be buying, I think, two or, I think, one or two, a 9.6, 600 milliamp. So I'll be upgrading batteries, so I don't have to. I will be upgrading my rate of fire, basically. Um, is there anything else? Yeah, no. Okay. On to my guns. Alright. So first off is my pistol. I have a Umrex Walther P99 DAO. DAO means double action only. Um, this is a actually really fun gun to shoot. It has a lot of kickback and it's just a really well well built gun. Um, everything's plastic except 
this little back covering. I mean, everything's metal except this back covering, which is plastic. Metal slide. So it's metal everything except that little bas back plastic slide. Um, so I do have three mags. The two that I bought and then one that was given. Um, so the way you put in your CO2 for this is you pull out that backslide and there's a little place where you put your CO2 in, you screw it on, and yeah. Sorry, I, I'm having to do this with one hand. I'm filming with my iPhone because I had to show people my GoPro. Eh, I can't get it. Oh my god, this is going to kill me. There we go. Okay. Oh, whatever. I must spend five minutes trying to get this back over on. It's insane. There we go. Okay. Finally. Um, it's a blowback, CO2 blowback, so it works. The really cool thing is, I don't have any BBs to show, but if you put in a, let's say, a empty magazine, or you just ran out of BBs, I can get the magazine in there. There we go. So, and you pull back, it'll lock back. Now, when this gun is, like, when you change mags, all you have to do is pull back, and it'll slide back forward when you put in a new mag. So, not many pistols do that. You have to pull down on this little thing. It's just a little bit of realism. Um... So yeah, that's my pistol. Now on my assault rifle. So here I put my side on. This is a pain having to do this with one hand. All right, I have a JG M4A1 enhanced version. Um. I've only had one problem with this gun, and it had the cylinder broke, and that was a quick fix. A little two-day in the shop, and I fixed it. Um, I do have a MOE uh, handguard and angled foregrip AFG. Um, this is a really comfortable. It's small, but it is extremely comfortable. I have a reflex sight. I don't know if you can see that. But, yeah. Um, what else? I have a uh, Angel Custom Barrel 6.01. A 6.01 Angel Custom Barrel inside. If I can... Nah, I'm not going to take it out. But, yeah, that's inside there. And... I mean, I got this as a beginner gun, and I've just been upgrading it, the handguard, the barrel, the angle foregrip. Um, my next gun that I'm planning to get is a KWA KM, I mean KR, KR12, because my barrel will fit inside the K, KR12. So that's my next gun, I probably won't get that till... Uh, Christmas because my birthday is not is not until March of next year so um, I will wait till Christmas to get that unless I get a summer job so yeah that was basically a rundown of all my gear that I have and I mean I bring the basic tools that I need to fix my gun if it ever breaks down but oh, that was lightning we're having a thunderstorm right now um, but that's basically all the gear I bring every day to Airsoft. So, Raptor Airsoft, signing out.